Okay, so now today we're going to run a Facebook video ad, right? So I always recommend posting it on the business page first, right? It goes here first, write out the text. The three bullet points you always want to focus on is, is number one, when it comes to the text. And it, even when it comes to the video, just keep this in mind for future videos. It's really, there's really a three-step formula to ad copy is what we call it, ad copy. Number one, you're calling out the audience. Attention, Charleston or whatever, like hello neighbors. Like I'm just trying to get the attention of my local area and putting the name in that is, is, is always good. Hey, Charleston. Hey, hey, fellow neighbors in Charleston or whatever, right? Making it friendly and just, and just making sure that that name sticks out right away. That's number one, calling out your audience. And then number two is telling the story, giving a tip. Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you three must do's when selling your home, right? Well, that's so, what I have um, on the video. What's that? So that's what I say on the video, but I also need to say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You also want to bring it up here because, because some people are going to watch the video. Some people may just read the text. And, and not even consider watching the video until they actually read the text. And they're like, okay, well, damn, let me watch a little bit of it, right? So the text, yeah, so it's, it's, it's grabbing the attention of two different type of people. Some people like to just read. Some people like to watch a video, right? So I want to I want to mention it in both places. So number one, calling out the audience. Number two, telling a story. And then number three, the call to action. That's it. That's the basic three-step formula for any ad copy is what we call it. So that's for the text and that's for the verbiage in an actual video. I don't know where it all went. Okay. What's so important is, is, is posting it here first, writing out the text and, and actually completing it first before you run the ad. Because as we go and run the ad, you're not going to be able to change the text anymore. <coughs> all right. So, so yeah, so, so writing out this text now and, and first is the most important. Now, now we don't have to go and set up the ad right now. And we can just write out the text later on today and then set up the ad tomorrow. That's that's always an option. But if but if we plan on going right this second to go set up the ad, we won't be able to. We can, we can, we just won't be able to come back and edit this text because it's already set to go live as an ad. So Facebook won't let you change the text anymore. So actually, this is now when we would have to do it. Now, hey, Charleston, today, and actually bring down today, bring down today, bring that down Hey Charleston, today I'm going to I'm I'm going to share with you the three must dos when selling your home. In this video, I'm talking about pricing your home correctly, staging your home, and keeping your emotions in check. After being bring after bring that part down. After being in the real estate industry for the past twenty years, these are the most common mistakes that people make when selling their home. I put together a free PDF, or I yeah, at the bottom, the very very bottom. I yeah. put together enter hit space it yeah. I put together a free seller's guide, or I put together a free PDF that covers blah, 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 that covers this, this, and this. I put together, I put together a free seller's guide that is jam-packed with 20 years of knowledge of me working in this space or whatever, like something like that. I put together a free seller's guide that, that that's jam-packed with 20 years of knowledge. And, 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 um, I put together a free seller's guide that, that's jam-packed with 20 years of knowledge. I put together a seller's guide. I put together a seller's guide. I put together a seller's guide that is jam-packed with 20 years of knowledge, and I'd like to give it to you for free. So that, that's your basic three-step, right? Calling out Charleston, telling a little story, and then the call to action. That's it. And then, and then again, I could, I could, I could literally go word for word off that same exact framework in the video. So I could be talking about the same thing in the video. Cool. And I also wrote, wrote it out. Right. And that's it. And then, and then you post, you post. So now as we post, and as we go now back to set up the ad, we can no longer mess with the text. Okay. So, so that's pretty much it. And then, and then every now and then putting maybe a couple emojis in there, that kind of helps stand, makes it stand out as well. Um, in fact, let's do that. Let's open up another tab. Let's just throw throw like maybe an emoji. The emoji, a good basic emoji. Let me um, let me send this to you. So right here in the Zoom chat, just click on click on this link, and you could bookmark this one too. This is just a basic emoji um website where you can grab all these different icons. Yeah, so this website, emoji.com. Yeah, so just click on it and then scroll up to the top and then copy. 
yeah, right there, copy the green one. Perfect. And then just bring it to Facebook and then just paste it in somewhere. So maybe next to Charleston, hey, Charleston, or put it in front, whatever, play around with it. Yeah, see, so emojis are cool um, just to help help the post stand out. Like it just color makes makes a person stop a little bit. So, hey, Charleston. Yeah, perfect. And then maybe even, maybe even, um, no, that's fine. That's fine. Because you, you can always put like a down arrow, click learn more to download now. And there could be like an, a finger pointing down because that's how people are going to see it, right? They're going to see the text, the video, and then the learn more button right below. So if I put a finger pointing down, like just little random things like that, it sounds stupid. It actually is, but it it, it somewhat catches a person's attention. Okay. So yeah, so emojicopy.com, bookmark that page, and then um, just use that every now and then. You know, um, so so on the post now, all you do is hit hit the hit the publish, and that's it. So let's publish it, and and there's really two different ways to run a Facebook a Facebook ad. One way is this way, where you actually post it on the business page publicly, just like you would anything else, write out the text, everything, and put it here. That's one way. And then a second way is where we could have went into the ad. We we could have went straight to the ad. And just set up everything in the back of the ads manager, went straight there and pulled the video file from your computer and just ran it, ran it there and wrote out the text there in the ad as we're running, as we're setting up the ad. That's the second way people do it. I do it this way because if I'm going to spend money on this damn thing, I want that post to live on the page forever. I want it to be public forever. Oh God. When, you, when you run it the other way. I just, unless you completely hate it, then of course, well, whatever, delete it or might, or maybe run it. The, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm not going to do that now. We'll do that later. This is so yeah. terrible now, but I'm, I'm hoping they're like a little bit better as I go. You're going to start getting better. Trust me. This is how it starts. This is go, like go back to any, go any away. videos. They all look like crap. Like all of my videos in the beginning look like, they still like, like I, I mean, in the very, very beginning. Yeah. All, all videos. So this is perfect. So hit post, hit the blue one and we're good. So now we're posting it here. It's good. We're going to leave it here forever and, and it's and it's there. So now let's go to the ads manager. So now we're going to simply run the ad. So we just post on the business page. The whole strategy is to is to is to keep it that simple, selfie style video at home, outside, at the office, whatever, at the bar, wherever. Like selfie style video, giving that type of tip, one minute to three minute. And and the whole key is to is to be consistent and have one ready every 15 days. So this one would run for 15 days. The next one can run for 15 days. So now I'm doing two a month. In my professional opinion, two of those videos per month can 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 replace all of the posting that one is doing across every platform. If that person's a local business owner. So with you being a local business owner, although you can help anybody move anywhere, I get it. You're really a local business owner though, right? So if we're farming a, a few zip codes, I need to dominate this area, right? So 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 all I'm saying, it could be done that way. One video every 15 days that you're actually running an ad on and that's it. We're not posting, we're not TikToking, we're not doing any of that crap. We're targeting our local area and that's it. You know, like it could be that simple and you can dominate like that simple. Like so, to me, though, when I look at those videos, I don't look very polished in them because, you know, it's busy hair weather and all kinds of stuff going on. So, well, well I, go outside. Some, try try playing around with that, with, with video outside and getting that natural light. Like, those are always good, too. Like, that video that I put put on Facebook the other day, right, showing my office and just new, new, new place. I'm outside the light, right? That natural light is the best. So, so indoors, it could, it could look a little dark, right? depend on if you have windows or whatever, but, but yeah, play around with it. But, but all I'm saying is that that's all it takes. I can care less where you're at. You could be on a boat fishing it's deep scene. I don't, wherever, as long as it's a selfie style on your phone, that's what I'm saying. It could be yeah. that. Simple. What I'm saying to you is you have a different, you're in a different industry than I am. Shouldn't I be looking like more polished than I'm looking? No, we're, we're, we're in the people business. We're all in the same business. We're in the people business. So it, it, it's people that, that relate to us. So, so the fancier we, we try to look or, or, or the more polished one tries to look, it just, it just depends on who you're trying to attract, obviously. I mean, not obviously, but, but, but to tell you the truth, it's, 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 it's kind of who you're looking to attract 
also that that plays a big role too who are you looking to be looking to attract and whoever you're looking to attract because everyone has an ideal client so we're not looking for all of charleston i'm looking for homeowners but then even within homeowners it's even more of a narrower niche that i'm actually even looking for maybe i'm looking for 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 military or maybe i'm looking for people above the age of 45 or maybe i'm looking for people in their 60s everyone has an avatar like unless you're just trying to help everyone then that that could that could work too but but it's it's really narrow narrowing in your marketing so however you want to look is who you end up attracting and that's fine too but all i'm trying to say is that be authentic be authentic that's all i'm trying to say and 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 it doesn't come any more authentic than being on that cell phone talking to it selfie style from home like it doesn't get any more authentic than that you know so if you need to do yourself up if you need to fix your face whatever like if if that's what it takes okay cool then that's that's what you'll do it's just is just the strategy one video every 15 days like however you want to do it up but but no it doesn't have to be the video doesn't have to be fancy edited like these at all if that's what your question was but 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 as far as editing or looking pretty like this with with all them subtitles that's not necessary at all at all at all as you go into ads like as you go into ads and as you as you start talking to your local area you know so refresh this page, see if that if that video has has posted yet. We're good. So there it is there. So now let's go to the ads manager and let's just run it from there. So now we're going to click the green button, um, create. And then over here, this this video, this is this is the first this is the first one, right? This is the first actually because the other ones were images, right? The other ones were images. So this is the first video one. A lot of the times it's good to roll out your first video under awareness, but this is a video that we're actually trying to capture a lead. So we're going to have to go lead. We're going to have to go, go lead, go lead, go lead, click on lead and then, and then continue. Okay, cool. We'll just, yeah, we'll just roll out lead. We'll roll out lead. Okay, cool. So now we're on the, we're, we're in the first step, but this is, this is step 1.1, I guess. So right here, category, you're going to always go with housing. So always hit the drop down categories, always go with housing, and that's it. Okay, so and then at the top, you always want to give it a title, always name each step. There's these, it's just three steps. So if you can see to the left, new leads campaign, new leads ad set, new leads ad. You see that to the left of the title? Yeah. These are the three steps, right? So these are the three steps we're going through. Right now we're in step one. So naming it, giving it a little brief description, allows you to look at the dashboard in the background. You see to the left, all these other ads that you ran in the background. That dashboard, it just allows you to know what ad that was. So here, I would just name it video, right? Video and, and what video? What video was this? This was video, seller guide video number one, or video where I was wearing a black shirt or whatever. Like try to be- Like three must do's? Whatever, yeah, exactly. Th video three must do's, perfect. Video three must do's. And then, um, and then in parentheses, in parentheses, I'm going to always go with the objective. So in parentheses, what do we choose as the actual objective? We chose leads, right? So in parentheses, I'm I'm going to I'm going to put there. So when I look at it on the dashboard, I know exactly what ad that was. It was that video, and it was under the objective of leads. Okay, cool. Housing, and that's it. Next. So giving it a brief, a, a good title, and then and then housing is what you'll always do. Next, that's step one. Tab tab one, which is what I call it. Now we're on tab two. This is the ad set. So here we choose the targeting. Here we choose the the, the conversion event. Here we choose um, the, the budget. So we'll name it at the top after we do everything at the bottom. So let's go to the bottom first. So website's fine. Conversion event. Click inside that box. Um, we did set up your custom conversion, right? So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Seller guide leads, perfect. There's your custom conversion. Um, okay, we're good, we're good. And then scroll down, scroll down. And then now we have, right below, we have budget. So we wanna be at anywhere from $10 a day, $10 to $15 a day, whichever, whatever whatever you wanna run with. But but the way you wanna kind of look at it also is 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 monthly, and, and really know that monthly budget. What can we really put towards this a month? That's kind of how you want to break it up. 
because if it's if it's if it's let's say if it's 300 a month and that's 10 bucks a day then i'm going to run this i'm going to run this at 10 dollars a day for 15 days there's 150 All right, let's do and, that and then i'm going to run the second video right and then i'm going to do that for the next 15 days and there's another 150 that's my 300 for the month okay. right or whatever so 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 do it that way so 28th start it always start at the next day at 6 a.m and I tell you the truth, it's kind of, you're already in afternoon, your time. Um, you're already in afternoon, your time. And I always like to give Facebook 24 hours. I always like to give them at least a minimum of 24 hours to approve the ad. So if anything, why don't you start it on the 30th? Start it Saturday morning. Saturday morning, 6 a.m., Eve goes live. Perfect. And then end date. Just push it out 15 days. Push it out 15 days. Um and then let's plan on talking. Let's plan on talking in, 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 in 13 days. Let's plan on talking about this ad. We can always talk whenever the hell you need me. But regarding this ad, we'll talk in 13 days. Just to review it, right? We'll look at it. If leads are coming in, then, then we may consider leaving it on and, and just extending the end date. Um, or if it's, if it's even a good ad, we can even duplicate it and run another ad off of this one. So we can get ninja with it. But but that just all depends on how it's looking in in 13 days, and 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 if it's looking like complete like a complete flop, then we just shut it off and start the second ad. No big deal. In the very beginning, this is all part of testing. Like this is all trying to and 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 we're penetrating a local area, so the branding is is just starting as well. So the lead is one thing, but the branding, the fact that pe the fact that your neighbors are now going to start seeing your face. There's value to that. You know what I mean? Even if that person hasn't clicked yet, even if you didn't capture a lead on that person just yet, the fact that a few hundred people down the street are now going to see your face, that's different. That's a different type of person. That's a different type of, of marketing. That's a different type of lead. You know, so so I'm so I'm so fired up for you. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Um, we're good on that. So we went August 14th. Okay, cool. We're good on that. And then, and then, and then the location. So let's change out the United States. Hit edit on the United States. Um, hello, hello. Yeah, click on that. Edit, and then, and then go ahead and X out United States. Exit out, and then type in your location. And so, and then make sure you switch that drop down above people living in. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and type it that in. Type that in, and then. We want people living in this location. People living in. And then, so now we already have, um, okay, good. We're good there. We're good there. We're good there. Um, okay, perfect. And this, now we have, now we have some, some, something to go off of for the title of this step. So scroll all the way to the very top. The title of this step could be, we could put in, we could put in $10 a day, $10, $10 daily, or 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 ten dollar a day, whatever ten dollar a day slash, and then and then maybe the address, the address. We'll just do dash, yeah, ten dollar a day dash, and then the address, so you know you know exactly where you're where you're targeting. Um, yeah, take away the fifteen dollar fifteen day. Actually, no, I guess that's fine. No, that's perfect. Okay, cool. So, are you going thirty miles? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so that right there, Eve. That right there. I don't know if you went with that on our last ad, but. But I want whatever it was. I want you to stick to the same exact targeting. That's what so, the last so day. We did that last time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So that's that's the stomping ground. That's that's where we're going. So okay. Scroll down. We're good. We're good. Website conversion event budget the calendar the date the end time the 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 location. We're good. So now we hit. Actually, you know what? I'm so sorry. Manual placement. Go down. We want to uncheck everything. So we're gonna always go manual placement. So scroll down. Scroll down. Always go manual placement. We're going to uncheck Instagram. We're going to uncheck Messenger. We're going to uncheck Audience Network. And then, and then right here below, we're going to uncheck. We're going to uncheck the in stream. So these these boxes: uncheck in stream, uncheck reels, uncheck search, uncheck in article. And then that's it. So scroll down. Anything else? That's that's all right. There's no more. Okay, cool. We're good. Okay, scroll back yeah. up. This. What? Why do we not want it on like Instagram? The reason why you don't want it on Instagram is because two reasons. It's it's more than it's longer than one minute, so it won't it won't show good in an in a, in in the ad placement. 
because yeah. it's a three minute video. So it's, it's too long. And then second, when, when you do run Instagram, you want to run it completely separate. So here, let's say this was going to be an Instagram ad. We would uncheck everything and we would only check Instagram. So then we would run this as an independent, completely separately Instagram ad, okay. right? Just so when you look at the numbers, you can, you can know, okay, damn, did IG work or did it not? Like you can really, you can really analyze the, the metrics looking at it separately versus trying to bundle it all in here and trying to look at all the metrics all together. When it's like, no, I want to separate them. Like that's a whole different platform. Let me run that ad separately. The image has to be a, a, a certain size. The video has to be a certain length, right? Under a minute. So, so you want to do those ones separately. And we can always do that next for sure. We can always do that for sure. But, but, but shoot, shoot a one minute video, shoot a one minute video for that. Um, and then the way you did it here, vertical, that's good for Instagram as well. So do a one minute vertical video for Instagram and we'll run that completely separate. Um, but, but then also in the future, vertical or horizontal? you did this one vertical, right. which I wanted you to do horizontal for Facebook, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But in the future, yeah. Horizontal widescreen for Facebook. Okay. And then for Instagram, it's vertical one minute. Ideal no longer than one minute vertical. Okay. So, so we're good here. We're good here. Hit next. I mean, yeah, yeah. Scroll down and, and click the blue one. So we're good here. Okay. So now this is the last and final step. So at the top, you can go to just name it video three must do's. Same thing. Video three must do's. Perfect. We're good there. And then the Facebook page, that's our page. And then the ad setup right below the drop down ad setup. So click on that create ad and then you'll click on use existing post. So create ad, use existing post. And all you're going to do is simply select post and find that post. So it's right there at the top and we're good. So now click on that, click on continue. And then now we need our, 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 our landing page link. So just open up another tab, grab your, your landing page, and then we're going to link it over here. Okay. So there's our link. We're going to add that to the learn more button. So go back to the ads manager, um, scroll down. So we're going to scroll down and then right below, you're going to see, um, yeah. So right here, Go ahead and add button and then paste in, paste in that link right there. Paste in that and then just click the blue button. Okay, cool. So we're good. Okay, so now scroll down and just make sure that you're tracking. Make sure the tracking is okay. Okay, we're good. And sometimes, sometimes when you're there on the tracking, that box website events, sometimes that's not checked. So sometimes that's that's wide open. I I've seen it many times. So all you got to do is check it, the website events box, check it, and then and then choose your hit the drop down and choose your domain and your green dot. You'll see the green dot. So just choose your domain and that's it. So it needs to look like that and then publish. Okay. So one last thing, real quick, and then I got to jump on another call. Hit publish, and then um, now what we want to do. So we just we posted it on the business page first. We came over here. We we set up the ad to go live at six a.m. Now what we want to do is we want to, and look, and sometimes it gets stuck like this. Sometimes it gets stuck like this. So when it gets stuck like this, the blue publishing one of three, <clears throat> when, it's, when it's stuck at blue, open up another tab and just go back to the ads manager. So go to your bookmarks, ads manager. Okay, and all we're going to do is push it through over here. So click on ads manager. And then over here, You'll see the blue review and publish three. So click that. No, no, no. The button in the top right. So review and publish. That's where you push it through. So click on that. And then you just simply click the green. I think it's a green button. Yeah, publish. And that's it. So now, now you'll see in the bottom right, it pushes through, turns green, and you're good. Now, last part, click the three lines in the top left. And, and so the moment you, you put out a video, the very, very next thing, after we publish the ad here, we go and set up the audience. So click on audiences. We want to track the people who watch a percentage of that video. So now it really starts. Now it's game time. Now it really, really starts. This is the beginning of your branding. The images, those were, those were, I I I look at those as as test ads. Those were play around ads. From this point on, we're putting out video. 
from that from this point on. So so really what you want to do is you want to start tracking the audience that watch a percentage of it. So click the, the blue one, create audience, and then custom audience. And then over here, these are these are the different sources where you can actually create an audience. But in your case, your business, all you're ever going to really do is website and and video. And we already have an audience for a website, which is which is a seller guide page visitors. If you can see in the background, can you see in the background seller guide page visitors only? Do you see that in the background? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. In the background, do you see that? Oh yeah, visitors only. Okay. What's that? Yeah, seller guide page visitors only. Yeah, you see that, right? So, yeah, so yeah. we already have that audience, so we don't need that. So from this point on, it's really just videos, videos and different pages too. As you create open house agent attraction pages, things like that, then then website. But in this case, it's video for sure. So hit next, and then over here, you're gonna hit the drop down. So engagement, hit the drop down. You want to go off of you want to go off of 15 seconds. Anyone who watches 15 seconds of that three minute video is in this audience. 15 seconds is a good amount of time for somebody to recognize someone's face um, and then retarget them and show them another ad. So click choose videos. No, 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 no. Choose videos. And then you'll find that video. So you're in a different page. You're in the Portugal one. So right in the top right, choose your page. See if it's over here. There, there is a video. Check that. Scroll down. Hit the blue button. Confirm, and then give it a name. So the audience name. This is three three mistakes or what? What, what was it? Yeah, video. Type in video, and then yeah, three. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, fifteen seconds. Yeah, perfect. Create audience, and that's it. So now we're going to start building this audience. So when we go 15 days later and run our second ad, our third ad, our fourth ad, we're going to continue to retarget those who've been watching these previous videos. That's how you create the omnipresence. Click done. That's how you create the omnipresence. That's how you create the branding, especially when you're targeting a local area. By the time we're on our fifth, sixth, seventh ad, that whole town's going to know who you are, like literally, because we keep, we keep penetrating thousands of people and showing them your face over and over and over. So that's what builds the credibility. So post it on the business page first, run the ad, and then set up the custom audience. Any any questions on that? Yeah. Awesome.